Okay, everyone, this is going to go fast and furious. This is... Okay, this is round two with Deanna Frederick in blue versus Kiara Lane's team team. Uh, the women's adult extension for domestic situation. Uh, they're in a collar tie. They both are pummeling for inside control. And uh, this is at uh, 112 to 118 pounds blocked uh, against each other in round two. And Deanna ended up winning first round. Kiara fell... Uh, to a closer match in round one. Now they're against each other round two. Uh, looks like Kara's working the circle pretty well there. Now she's well, now she's on the edge though. She's uh, fighting that that tie up. Goes for a high C or fireman's and Kiara hits that sprawl. They looked a little bit in slow mo this match. Like there was a lot of respect going on from. Uh, coming from the same team, you see that a lot in this match and in some of the moves. Uh, but again, a, a lot of tie-ups here for stuff. She missed the high C. Kiara totally went around behind, but did not get the takedown. And uh, Deanna did. She came right back out the back door and, uh, and shuttled it right around quick to get the, the first two points of the match. Take a two-point lead or two to zero. Uh, again, Deanna is uh, in the blue on top, going for a crossface cradle. And she does. Looked like Kiara had blocked it, but watch this. I think she brings her right back. Nope, didn't get the first attempt there. Brings in the double arm bar. But luckily, Kiara's moving. She stepped right up and out. One point escape, two to one. This is first period at the USGWA Regionals in Clare, Michigan at Clare High School. And uh, both women, same team. Uh, in for a nice double leg, but again, not in, in great position. So what does Deanna do? She does what she's supposed to do. Use her hips to bump them over when they come in on the shot before the sprawl. And if you can step over, step over. And sure enough, that's where Kiara needs to work the most on. It's not her shot, but is it's finishing it in good position. In good position. She has an inside tie now on Deanna with the hand control. About to run out of time in the first period. Sure enough. And they're going to go decision. Now I let I let both of them kind of decide what positions they want to go into for second period. Um, I'm having to coach both of them at the same time while not taking sides, well, which is not a lot of fun. Um, but Kira doing a couple feints there inside, faking for the shot for the high C or for the knee picks, which is what we want. We don't want her going all the way down to the mat until she can prove that uh, she can finish the shot without getting hipped over and losing her balance. So we're trying to keep her to that that ritual here for this match. Boom. Deanna goes for an outside shot for a single. And Kara gets that nice sprawl. But she's trying to cross face. There's nothing wrong with that. But the truth is we'd like to get some head pressure first. Get her all, get the opponent all the way down to the mat and then go to something like a cross face. Deanna comes up and fights to, to get out of it though and work up the body. Uh, snag Kiara and bring her down to the mat and, and locks. What looks is going to be was a front headlock to the now an outsider. Uh, well, actually, she wasn't outside. She went right to an inside cradle. Uh, but they go out of bounds. Kiara circles back off to restart clean. And uh, sure enough, we're back here. Looks like Kiara, uh, I'm sorry, Deanna in the blue. Looks like she has inside control pretty well there. I think we're in second period, right? And uh, we're into the inside tie here with Kiara. Let's see what Deanna does. Looks like she's... Setting up her move. She has her move from right inside there. Very patient in this match. Gets a sprawl as Kara comes down for the shot. They both come right back up. Kara is getting a good hand control there. Comes in for the... Almost like a high dive, basically. You know, to go for that, that near knee pick. Didn't get it. Looked like she was going to take the rush in there from Deanna. Um, for a Russian drag. And didn't get it. So they're... Kind of trying to get used to each other's styles here a little bit. A couple shot attempts halfway in or not. Look at that. Was that supposed to be a shot? <laughs> we weren't sure exactly what that was. But believe it or not, she finished it. And they both looked like they were in slow-mo for Deanna to get in and Deanna to finish. Um, very interesting again. Uh, same team. I believe we're going into the last period now. It looks like... Kara had choice the second period. It looks like Deanna took choice the third period, if I remember correctly. And it looks like uh, they both chose neutral to come right back up here and 
fight it out on their feet. Looks like Kara continues to fake and, and faint inside like we want to come in for shots from an inside tie. Boom, had it, slap shots. Uh, right back to inside control, almost to a Russian, and then right to the shot again. Comes in on a perfect shot, and what do you think happened? That's, we're sliding in on our shots, literally sliding in and not having position on it. And that's why Deanna was actually able to hit a cross face and literally push Kara all the way back over her butt. Just because we're not in great great positioning for the shots. We have great shots, changing levels, great, setting up well. Look at this, look at this fireman's carry. Doesn't get her all the way over, but it had a beautiful fireman's on Kiara here this last period. Sitting on an over leg, ready to get hand control. Maybe cross it full. Let's her up. Let's her up. Took another two points for the takedown. Kara another point for the escape, and we're back up to neutral again, fighting it out. But what we're talking about is coming in on our shots and being in good enough position where if someone hips you or pulls you down right here, you're not going down. You're ready to circle off every second. Sure enough, Deanna takes another two points, gives gives actually Kara another point, but I hate how they step around like that and they're not even looking at each other. That's not readiness. That would be someone would be shooting across the mat at them and grabbing them. Now she drops levels again. But once more, Deanna just comes right back around then because Kiara is dropping her head, dropping her guard, not finishing. And then Deanna in slow-mo is pretty much taking advantage of it. It goes for another one, I see, but she brought it to a fireman, stepped over. And I think they're even counting near fall because she held her in that position. This should round off the last period and the match, if I'm not mistaken, the last couple seconds here basically as the timekeeper comes out with the towel. And uh, it was a great match, same team. Good job, ladies, here, and collects the near fall points as we run out of time.